The reading is essential program for youths concluded earlier today. More details in this report. The reading is essential program for youths concluded earlier today with a graduation ceremony at the New Amsterdam Primary School. The program was held with the aim of developing the reading skills of students as well as expanding their vocabulary. Giving brief remarks at the graduation was one of four newly appointed regional education officers, Mr. Salik. Many of our children, they are so taken up with the gadgets that they are not spending quality time with their books in that they are not reading. Right? And so if our children, if they do not read or if they are not being encouraged to read, then you find that they are not going to be performing well. They are not going to be doing well in school. They have to do a number of subjects in the primary curriculum, and if they can't read, then they can't do the problem solving. In other words, they would not excel also in mathematics. If they don't read, then they can't do the science. They can't do the social studies. They wouldn't be able to write well. And so reading, once you allow your children to read or you encourage them to read, you will find that all the areas in their education, they are going to be fulfilled or covered or they are going to be doing extremely well. Director for the program, Ms. Giselle Wint, gave a brief history of the program. Well, this reading is essential used to be a part of the Wesleyan Church years ago. It was founded by Miss Clarice Game. She's deceased. And I was out of the country for about 10 to 11 years. And when I returned, I spent some time at the Alpha Orphanage. And because I recognized there were a lot of poor reading skills, I visited some of the schools that the children attended. And their reading skills were poor. And I decided that, you know what? I can probably have reading is essential because I used to attend reading is essential years ago. That is what inspired me. So it's like a rebirth. According to Ms. Wint, 195 students participated in the program and were grouped according to their current school level. 195 children participated this year and the age from 4 years to 14 years. It benefited them because what we did at the beginning of the program, we did a diagnostic test. So each class did a diagnostic test to see where the children were at and then at the end of the program they give them back that diagnostic test to see if there would have been any improvement or so on and that's how we were able to assess. Miss Wint is planning on holding another program come next year. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Channel 8 News.